Yu-Gi-Oh! has evolved a lot through the years, so much so it seems intimidating to returning players or people trying out this game for the first time. When I returned to this game in 2021, I was fortunate enough to have kept all my cards and had enough to make a deck. Not a good deck, but a deck nonetheless. But I wanted to see what the game would be like if I started from scratch, with a monster a Yu-Gi boomer like me would probably get behind. I'm starting over with my favorite card of all time to try to crawl my way to competitive success while also limiting myself to trades and cards I pull from packs. So I'm officially starting from scratch. Last week we got our asses absolutely handed to us on a silver platter. But this week I got a good feeling. I think instead of going 0-3 we could possibly, and hear me out on this, Go one and two. The polls this week were pretty good. Is, is that how you get views on these videos? Saying good wrong? And are gonna take us a long way. So uh, this is gonna be my 30 for this week. Uh, Scott here has agreed to pay for the rest of this box. I get six packs of my choosing. Whatever I get out of those six packs are mine. And then everything else is says, which is kind of wheel and deal for cards that I might need for the series. Later Absolutely. On. July has just picked out like some trades that he wants from me as well. We're gonna try to factor those in as well. Uh, if he gets anything that I'm after, then we're gonna wheel and deal and do some trading. Uh, by the way, I've been on this channel before as the guy who played the no ban list Cash Tira. So I'm a really fun Yu-Gi-Oh player. My favorite card is Dimension Shift. I'm destroying I'm so, this I am so glad that, that I'm so glad that video has definitely been edited and uploaded and oh, definitely not still in our in editing hell. Alright, it's in it. Okay. Alright, so you, all right. go ahead and pick out your all six right, packs. I get top on the left. You got it. Bottom on the right. Alright. Two, three, four. Okay. And then on the left we do five and six. Okay. The rest so, of so the, the quarter century god slime is like, I'm thinking it's like right here. Quarter century god slime. All right. All right. Here we go. So, first pack in, we got Amatisse, Magical Fusion, <laughs> Dogmatica. <laughs> QC That was the second one we pulled today. Galaxy Eyes and then Terrible. Galaxy Eyes. I gotta find a deck that plays Ancient Fairy Dragon. I mean, book generator. I mean, any of them are. Oh, yo, Ulti Reader, that's fire. Secret Spellbook, Valor, a ba another Baron! Yo. That's my fourth Baron! Hey, I, I'm a I can't, I'm, the by decks the I'm playing can't play Baron! By the way, Ulti Albaz. Ulti Albaz. Ulti Albaz. Right. John, I'm on with that. Oh, I see something shiny. Oh, something shiny? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, wait, that's a Platinum Unicorn, right? It is a Platinum Unicorn. That's it. That's and then, nope. I thought I saw something real shiny. Yeah, no. There's, I mean, there's so much shiny crap in this thing. Oh, it's an ultimate. Oh, it is an ultimate. Oh, yo. Oh, schism. That's sick. We got the lightning storm here, too. I don't know what that is. Okay, we got Altar Unicorn, Secret Bear Albaz, Lancia, Ice Barrier, and Chern Chern Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, all righty. Imperm, meet Yo. that. Extrav, Elder, Reasoning, and another Ooh. Lightning Storm. Too bad it's we found two. the Platinum Baron, that's sick. All right, last pack. I really like these Platinum guys. Oh, and there's a, oh, look at that Collector's uh, Apron. We got Shifter, Deco Talker. Oh, oh, I think that's a CR, uh, CR Ferris. CR Ferris, Ash Blossom, Yo. and Ice Dragon's Chris. Hey, you got the Ash you need. I got the Ash, you got the Imperm. Great, I pay, I'm so glad I paid $30 for two cars. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Since the last episode, I've been on the local Discord group making moves with trades, getting cards that will help us in the short run, as well as later down the road. So you wanted the playset of Ultra Sakitama, the playset of Common Godarla. You wanted the full Ishizu package here. We are yep. doing a big trade. So Wandering Griffin Rider, Valor, and Jackalope. Yep. Alrighty. And then, so, all right, if you're keeping that stuff, yeah, this is stuff I want to keep. I mean, if you don't need a Baron, I really I like don't the need Baron. the Baron. I do not need the Baron. Do you not need the Baron? <laughs> not for this, no. Alrighty, already. Um, I do like extra. Some of my students really need that card to draw with. I I've already mean, got two lightning, lightning storms. storms. I've already got my I two. I love the lightning storm. I'm willing to do pretty much like all this for these three cards because the Baron's worth a couple dollars and most right. of this is pretty cheap. All right, so that's the trade. Is that good? That's Heck good. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna do the fist bump. But... <laughs> so this right, so this right here for the Baron and. 
All right, pleasure doing business. So my CR small world for basically all this tier stuff. You good with that? I'm good with that. Good with that. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're doing these three cards for the evenly? Yeah, we got the Harpies, the Reactor, and the Heat Soul for the evenly. All right, pleasure doing business hey. with you. All right, so Ultra Rare God Slime for the evenly? We are doing the Ultra God for the evenly. Hell yes. Yeah, boy. But the cards that we pulled, I'm a lot more confident in the deck that I was able to theorycraft. And if you want to see me theorycraft these decks, then be sure to check out my Twitch channel in the description down below. There I'll be in call with some friends trying to figure out how I'm going to build these decks that we take in locals while building for the final product. But as it stands right now, the trades that I did make, I tried to go towards another build that we decided on when I was streaming. But I think the tier deck is going to be going towards now. And uh, some of the picks I got here were originally for that. But I also got some picks that are just going to be like helping me here in the short run. So for example, I'm still using the Eldritch. Um, at one point, they might come out and go for trade. I managed to get a Bigfoot and two Thunderbirds. Bigfoot is the one I really wanted. Thunderbird is good. I could just pop a set card if need be. Uh, we're still running the Iris. We're still running the Vashuda. We're running two Arimas instead of the one. Or instead of the three, sorry. Still running two reactor slimes. We got Danger Jackalope. Because if it's popped on its own effect, I can put any danger monster from my deck in defense position. So worst case scenario, I can get Bigfoot or I can even get Thunderbird out. 24 attack wall. Uh, Mirror Force, obvious choice. We were able to get a second Imperm. So we threw that in the deck. Three Metal Flex slimes because we got our three Egyptian God slimes. That's going to be dope as hell. We are running number 39 Utopia, two Unicorns, a Cerberus, and a Griffin. If I can get a Phoenix, that would be great. We got the Redoer, which is amazing. We got Ancient Fairy Dragon, pretty much as just a 3k wall, essentially, because I can't trigger its effect to do this and get a different field spell because I'm only running Lair of Darkness. But so that's the thing. Uh, I'm running one droplet just because one negate is better than no negates, in my opinion. Three soul crossings because, again, if I can get Cypher in my hand, this thing is huge. It is a sphere mode without the drawback of not being able to swing into it. The unfortunate part is it can also be negated. I wish this card had the additional effect. This effect cannot be negated or the activation cannot be negated. So I wish that it had that. But it is what it is. I'm still running one scapegoat just because it gets me bodies on the field. We're able to get two ash now. So ash is. We need one more ash. They're they're relatively cheap. I would like to get an ash. We got one change of heart just because if I have two, my opponent has one. I can be like, no, it's mine now. Still running the Thunder Force attack in case I get Cypher on the field. Right now, this deck is still kind of centered to getting Cypher on the field. As soon as we can get something like more coherent, I think once we get enough tiers, I think once I get tier fusions and I can start uh, putting tiers in the deck comfortably, I think these are going to be the first to go. And inside, we got three Gadarla, so I am going to be running those as Kaijus just to get problem cards off the field. So if it's my opponent's turn, and let's say they have a Baron, I can tribute the Baron, use the Soul Cross, and get Slifer if it's in my hand. I got two Veilers, just because it's good to have Veiler every now and again. We got a Duster, as always, three Moon, as always, three Controllers, as always, and we were able to scoop up three evenly matched. I think one we pulled and two we traded for, so three evenly matched is huge. It, it's insanely huge some would say i should probably put them in the main deck take out thunder force attack for the evenlies but i think it's better to put them in on the side because evenly is a great going second deck like going second right now my deck is kind of geared to going first with like the mirror force and the imperm metal reflect lightning storm stuff like that i think i'm more geared to going first but if i'm able to side for going second then i would definitely put in evenly matched now i do feel like i've shot myself in the foot a little here because i've said numerous times the deck i'm building towards can't play baron but it can. That's because the initial deck I theory crafted on stream didn't run it. But the more I thought about it, the more I was sure that the best strategy was tier, and thus had to scrap the first deck build and go towards a new direction. So this is the deck I am currently working towards. This deck is Tier Slifer. Now, I actually kind of fuck with what's going on here. So Tier Limits work pretty decently with Slifer, but I was surprised to find out that they can also get Egyptian God Slime on the field. And the reason 
reason being, Egyptian God Slime needs a Aqua Monster and a level 10 Water Monster if you don't do the special summon effect to get him out on the field. And that being Guardian Slime and Tier Elements, and all the Tier Elements can pretty much fuse from the graveyard. I can get God Slime out pretty consistently. I can also get Kaleido Heart. I can also get Root Kalos out. If I really wanted to, I could get Drago Stapelia out. I can get Garura. I can get Mud Dragon. If I have Shadal Beast in the graveyard, I can get Winda, which is a great flood flood card. I'm I'm also running Abyss Dweller, and I'm also running Time Thief Redoer just to take cards off my opponent's deck. So not only am I milling them using Tear and Ishizu cards, but I'm also just taking the cards from the top of their deck with, re, with Redoer. I also got Cross sheep i've got sprite sprint and i've got dark in here i'm also very confidently able to get vicious astraloud out which is just basically a big body guardian chimera if i'm able to get poly in hand which i'm not gonna say no to baron de fleur because i'm running tuners and i am running level fours i'm also running here in the side i'm running a fenrir if i ever need to just get fenrir out fenrir is a good card all around i'd probably swap out Tier Elements cash for it if I didn't decide it. Three Ash in the side, two Lightning Storm, Harpy's Feather Duster, Called By, Super Poly, Heartbeat, and Crime. A lot of these cards we got in the trades. We're missing Rhino Heart. We're missing Samsara. We're missing a Nessie. I had a chance to get Nessie, but I said no because I was stupid. I was building toward a build that I already had planned, but I decided to abandon all that and go with this. So we need to get Nessie. We have Bigfoot, but we need Nessie. We need a Shadal Beast, which I'm sure somebody has some bulk somewhere we need a mothman which came in the dark world structures same thing with nessie i believe so they're gonna be easy to grab diviner of the herald is just a good card all around revive sky god this one's gonna be a little bit of just kind of like hey you got this you got this i'm gonna have to do some wheeling and dealing to get this card not because it's expensive but because unless you collect everything or you just really like cypher odds are you don't got this thing exchange of the spirit i threw this in here a lot of people don't play exchange of the spirit Spirit. I think it, if it gives me that little extra umph, I'm gonna run it. Obviously, three copies of Cypher and a Sky Dragon. And I'm be real with this deck, Cypher is more so a asset on the field than it is a win condition. Yes, Cypher can swing for game, but if I'm going to something against, like say, Branded, my opponent plays Albaz and he goes to trigger the Albaz effect to get, let's just say, like a Murley that I couldn't get off the field. Uh, Cypher's effect will trigger, make Albaz zero attack, and then it's destroyed immediately. So its effect physically can't resolve so it's kind of a thing that i can do and guardian slime i can easily get into the graveyard with all the mill effects i have but in case i have it in my hand if i take battle or effect damage he just comes onto the field and he's just a wall that my opponent can't get over because he's just his defense keeps matching whatever monster attacks into it primeo planet perlure <laughs> anytime i fusion summon i can pop a card which is big so basically i use this effect if i had to i can pop root cal i think it's root nope it's uh kalito heart pop root Kalito Heart. Kalito Heart comes back on the field, do it again, and then pop another card. And then uh, Monster Reborn solely for the Revive Sky God. Foolish Burial. So that way I can send one of these guys. Or if I have Revive Sky God on field at a time, I can send Slap for the Sky Dragon and use Revive Sky God to get six. And I have a 6k beat stick until the end phase. I have Crime and I have Heartbeat in the side. I think this deck is pretty solid, not gonna lie. So I think I'm gonna build toward this. With a goal now set before us, we have a clear vision of where we want to go. I'm hoping I can pull most of the cards I intend on getting before the first YCS near me, but I still intend on getting cards that can help my deck in its current state. I have a list of cards I want written down and a pocket full of optimism. Let's get to locals. Already know one touch to least tears to go. So I chose today's feature match for two reasons. The first is because my phone ran out of memory during the first two, and I only have partial footage of those matches. And the other is because it's a god v god matchup. This deck is pretty much comprised of a slifer structure mixed with some other Egyptian god support. So without further ado, it's time to duel. Uh, how will it work? How work? Uh, three? 
I rolled single digits all night. That is more than three. You get the pick. I will Right on. Okay, I'm gonna go with burial. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! It's God v God. Oh, there's some reactor slime. Okay. He puts two tokens. I'm going to use my power rates tokens. That's okay. Alright, that's fine. Wait. But he's supposed to use tokens. Yeah, he's just supposed to use tokens. I'm going to use him to. Oh. I'm going to cross by the bit now. Um, I can. Yeah. It should be this card and set one middle class. That's only during the battle phase. Oh, I didn't know that. No, you're good. Um, I'll pass. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, because you can get to control no cards, I'll activate Lightning Storm to destroy all the attack position monsters you control. So your token is five, your reactor sound goes away. Uh, I will then. Uh, next, I because you control no monsters on the field, I will special summon Vishuda in defense position. Okay. Then I will let me see here. I will activate Eldritch to Golden Lord in my hand by sending it and one spell chop in my hand to the graveyard. I can send one card you control to the graveyard. I will send this token. Okay. And then let's see. I will set one card. Then I'll activate Eldritch and Golden Lord in my graveyard, sending okay. a spell trap I control to the graveyard to add him back to my hand. I special summon one zombie monster. He gains a thousand attack and defense until end phase. I'll choose Eldritch to Golden Lord. Uh, and then from there, I will activate Danger Bigfoot in my hand. Okay. Uh, you discard one random card in my hand, and, and depending on what it is, depends on his effect. He's the only card in my hand, so he will be discarded. Uh, when Danger Bigfoot is discarded from my hand, I can target one card to control and pop it. I choose your other token. I will then go into Battle Phase. Okay. Elder to Golden Lord will swing for 3,500. Okay. And I will enter the end phase, and Elder to Golden Lord will be going back down to 2,500 attack. Okay, your turn. I will draw. Yep. I will summon the reaction. Okay. Uh, if you normal summon, you have to put him in defense. There you go. And single put him in defense. Okay. I will then put over here. Yep. I am going to the battle phase. I got these reactor pens at Mineral Flex. Yep. Alright, you got the rubber skins! Yeah, you heard that being a fire object. Okay. Draw for turn. Now I'll activate Mineral Flex Line. Yep. I did not put my extra deck down. I'm stupid. Okay. Let's see, what have we got? Okay. Activate Arima, the Wicked Warden, from my hand, discarding it for cost to uh, basically terraforming for a uh, layer of darkness. I know, I, I have the Viper deck. Layer of darkness? Everything is now dark. Oh, uh, <laughs> Okay. From there, I will simply enter battle. Okay. Let's will swing into one of your tokens. Okay. I will. I'm gonna set this over here. Okay, that's fine. I will then shuffle because I searched and I'll get to cut her top. There you go. Alright. And that will be your turn. Okay, I will draw. Yep. I'll activate Man of the Bot Creator. Okay. 
I will then hold up. Let me show you what we have for the Falcons are. They should be 500, 500, level aqua one. level ones. Okay. But they are not water because of their darkness. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that kind of foils my plans. <laughs> Water, yeah, water. Um, shit. I could do something really dumb that if I get lucky it could work, but I'm not gonna do it because it's risky. I'll pass. Right, draw for turn. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Okay, uh, I will simply enter battle. Okay. Eldex will swing into your other token. And I will pass from there. Okay, I will draw. Yep. If I I'm gonna pass. I literally can't do anything. Draw for turn. Set one. I will then link to go into Nightmare Cerberus. When Nightmare Cerberus is summoned, I can discard one card and pop one special summon monster you control. That being the reflex sign. Enter battle. Win for 16. Okay. 1600, so that brings you down to 2900. Alright, great. Fast turn. I will draw. Yep. Um, you know what, that was I'll activate the true name. Okay. I think my next card is Cyber Sky Dragon. Okay. It was true, Cyber Dragon. Well, it was worth the shot. Yep. I'll pass. I will enter battle. Simply swing for 16. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Yep. I mean, I will not have one to draw, and then I will draw for turn. Enter battle. Thanks again. Alrighty. Alright. You get to choose. We'll go first. Right on. Um, I'm going to play card advance. Okay. You got one pop. You. Okay. Card advances on. Okay. I will then pass. Draw for turn. I will simply set three. Pass to you. Okay, I draw. Yep. I create an on creator and I pass. On the end phase, I will activate metal reflex signs by summoning it to defense. Okay. Draw for turn. I will tribute metal reflex sign to bring out my Egyptian god sign. I will then tribute Egyptian god sign to summon Cypher to Sky Dragon. Ah. So he's currently sitting at 3,000 attack points. Uh, I will enter battle. Okay. Swing for 3k. Okay. And pass over to you. Okay, I draw. Yep. I summon your Axe Slime. Uh, attack position if you're going to face up. Very good. I then summon your Slime Tokens. Okay. I enter battle. Actually, um, that would not happen. Oh. Aside from Sky Dragon's ability at face, whenever you no more special summon a monster, his attack points were reduced by 2,000. If you were to hit and zero, he's destroyed. Yeah, I forgot about that attack. Sorry. No, you're good. I also forgot about it until. Um, I'll pass. Okay. Draw for turn. Uh, he's currently at 4,000. Uh, I will. 
Uh, okay. I will enter battle. Set for a swing for 4K. Okay. And that will be your turn. Okay, I draw. Yep. I will set my card face down and I'll end. Draw for turn. I activate my reflect slime. Alrighty. His attack points is already zero, so Slifer's effect is nothing to him. So what I will do is... I'll activate Thunder Force Attack, showing as many monsters as you control as possible. And then I draw a card, so number of monsters destroyed by this effect, so one. Enter battle, swing for game. That is game. Good game. And obviously, we get an OTS pack for entering. So we get to crack that bad boy open and see what we get. Well, damn. So maybe our OTS pack didn't have anything special, but my prediction was correct in that we went one and two. Be sure to tune in next week where we show off some of the trades we made and look just how close we are to completing our build. Take bars, little man.